Danny says, hey, Bradley, what do you think is the best way to go about review acquisition for local? Is having one in place even necessary? Yes, it should be. That should be a like one of the most primary uh, functions of, you know, SEO right now for local SEO is just getting reviews. So uh, it, they're more effective in some circumstances than others. Like, for example, if it's an industry that doesn't uh, or the, the competitors within a particular area for that industry are not getting a lot of reviews then just getting a few reviews in a short period of time, known as review velocity, right, um, can can significantly move the needle. And I've proven that multiple times in the last several months with tree service contractors. Um, if it's in an industry where reviews are common and they're, they're, they come in fast and furious, then they don't have as near as much of an effect. But that's an opportunity, Danny, because a lot of local business industries do not get a lot of reviews consistently. Uh, so that's a, that's a, an absolute benefit right now. Like that's an advantage. If you can take advantage of it or, or exploit that by just helping the client or your client, uh, set up a review, an easy way to solicit reviews from customers. And there's a couple of ways to do it, right? You can do a, a review solicitation campaign from a, a, an, an already existing customer list. Um, that's a great way to do it because that's a great way to get a flood of new reviews in very quickly. And that can, again, light a local search grid report right up. Another thing that you can do is uh, set up, you know, a, a simple review collection system and, you know, solicitation system that actually uh, when a job is marked complete or a sale is made or whatever the conversion goal is, uh, that it, you know, sends an automated review request via email and or SMS. And uh, you can actually have a sequence of them. If you have, you know, some sort of kind of a more advanced app that will look for it to check to see if a review has been posted. And if not, it'll send another uh, request. High level can do this. Um, I don't recommend review gating right now, uh, which, you know, there's a lot of apps and services that do that. But um, I, we, what we're doing is we're just sending review requests directly to the uh, directly to the Google business profile review widget or whatever, if you know what I mean, like the review URL that goes directly and uh, to the Google SERP and opens up where the, 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 uh, whoever clicked it can leave a review directly on Google business profile. That's what we're doing. We're not doing any kind of review gating, but we're doing everything with high level and it's simple to do because whenever the client submits or close it, you know, I work almost exclusively with co contractors, even most of my white label, um, or I guess I should not white label, but my uh, mastermind members that are in the directory agency program in the beta group, most of them are working with contractors too. And so <clears throat> with the high level setup that we have, all you got to do is mark the job as complete. Uh, but again, it can be triggered off of a sale made or whatever. There's a number of things that can trigger that, but then it just puts them into a little sequence. It's uh, three emails and an SMS that asks for the review. And uh, I think it's a great way to, you know, something that can be set up easily. It's easy to manage once it's set up and you can do, uh, a, you know, a review solicitation campaign to an existing list. And that's a great way to kind of jumpstart everything. So I think it should, it should be absolutely mandatory for all local businesses. Uh, it just amazes me how many local businesses still resist review campaigns. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Good question, though.